And now, may we introduce the moment you've been waiting for? Our mission statement of Golden, Golden Nectar. Nectar. <laughs> Don't laugh. I'm serious. One more time. <laughs> Golden <laughs> Nectar! Oh my God. You see what she just did there? <laughs> nectar. An element tucked away in a flower like the burning passion embedded deep within the heart of every individual. In fact, our mission aligns with one of God's intricate creations displayed by bees. Yes. <laughs> the life work of bees is to find nourishment in the sweet, sweet, sweet nectar of a flower and transform <laughs> it into rich honey. Golden Nectar aspires that you, as the bee of this metaphor, become encouraged by our channel and more importantly, <laughs> and more importantly, we hope that you are inspired to transform your life into one which fulfills, <laughs> into one which fulfills, <laughs> into one which fulfills <laughs> your life, into one which fulfills your unique God-given <laughs> purpose. Our faith being the golden light <laughs> in our lives gives us the desire to provide information and encouragement to turn, to turn what? To turn nectar into honey. Rather, a lifestyle worth chasing. The, the whole purpose of this video is basically just to let you guys know exactly what we are doing with this channel because I mean we've already released a couple videos and um, images here and there but we haven't really fully explained exactly what we're doing so yeah we're here to explain our purpose and how we came together <clears throat> and the drive behind what we're gonna be doing so basically Hannah and I coming together um, I one day was sitting in my living room and I was like, huh, I'm not doing with my life what I love. And then I was like, you know what? I am very, very passionate about dance. I'm very passionate about um, meeting new people, conversing with people, just all these things. And I thought, you know what? Hannah has an amazing mindset about social media and YouTube and all these different platforms. So anyway, I thought that what Hannah was doing with her social media was really inspiring and I thought maybe I would text her and see what's going on with Hannah and introduce a little idea. Initially the idea was to um, interview dancers about why they're passionate about dance and how they came to be that way and then it kind of transformed. Gosh, yeah, that's actually really cool how it I, I didn't even realize what we started as and how we've just formed it through developing our page. So we've spent probably a month and a half, yeah, a full month and a half preparing because we just wanted to make sure that we really had both of our missions combined. Yeah, we wanted so. to make sure both of us had a, a big voice in what we're doing and we're well represented. So it's so cool. I'm really excited about it. My family's even really excited about Mine it. Too. Like my grandma the other day, she's like, you're my granddaughter. A little bit of my backstory, okay. I guess, to see how the stories collided. I had come to a point where I wasn't really happy with, I guess you could say my presence on social media and my mindset of going into social media and leaving it. So I felt like I always had a negative view either of myself or of the world around me when I would go on social media and I ended up wanting to quit, but instead I was like, okay, with encouragement of the people around me, of course. I just realized, well, if I'm not happy with it, maybe I can try to do something about it. So I had posted this little video on Which I YouTube. Loved. That's the whole reason why I, she's the one that I reached out to for all this. Which is actually really cool because it just shows everything you do happens for a reason. And clearly I'm not proceeding with that channel, but I posted that video to just show everyone who follows me on social media and like my family on Facebook just kind of where I was at and where I wanted to take my page. Not only to hold myself accountable, but to just give everyone a heads up like, hey, I'm going to be taking a different route now. So... In Jenny seeing that, it had sparked some encouragement, I guess you could say, and maybe a start to our dream. 
Oh yeah, this this whole purpose of everything we're doing right now has evolved into something so beautiful from where it started. <laughs> Having both of our visions come together has actually been the coolest thing for me to witness and I'm sure for Hannah to witness too, is just our visions colliding. Yeah. It's been really cool. It's just really exciting where you have this dream and you think it's so massive and put together and then God's just like, no, let me let me take you somewhere else. And then for me, it was really cool because he was just like, let me put you with someone. You know, so he just takes your dream and expands it yeah. into dimensions that you wouldn't even imagine. But yeah, having both of us come together and just kind of <laughs> having our different perspectives, especially come together has, I can't keep saying come together. Come having together. <laughs> Right now, over me. That's the coolest thing about people. Yeah, is, is we all have different perspectives and we all have a different story, a different background, a different way that we think about things. I guess I just wanted it to be centered more around the mindsets of the people around us because I feel like it's just such a hard place to be in, social media. And if we can help people leave feeling creative, mm -hmm. feeling empowered, anything we can do to give a better rep for social media. I think that having it transform into, you know, having all these different passions and different people that we want to have on our show has made it even more beautiful than what it was going to start out as. We vision our channel to be for anyone and everyone pursuing a passion or wanting to pursue a passion. So not settling for anything less than what you absolutely love to do. And even if you have a career already formulated around your life, finding that time and that space in your week to incorporate your passion into your life. Having Hannah and I have been working on this for the last couple months has has really allowed me to kind of escape the stresses of everything going on in my life and you know, really dive deeper into a creative outlet. I mean, that's the whole goal, is to center your life around something you're passionate about. Okay, so obviously we have golden nectar. The first word we came up with was nectar because the definition of nectar is... is a sugary fluid secreted by plants, especially within flowers, to encourage pollination by insects and other animals, and it's collected by bees to make honey. Basically, the word encouragement really, really stuck with us. Our whole focus is to encourage people to dive deep into their own hearts with a little flower inside them, to, get, to kind of dive deep into themselves, discover their passion, and really live it out. Yeah, and not only that, but have everyone who's either featured on this channel or following this channel, just be one big group of people encouraging each other. Mm -hmm. So Golden was more us trying to find a word that really represented the way that we feel God has touched our lives. So we of course thought of the word light. We thought of the words, um, I don't even know. Light was pretty much one of the Illuminated. only ones. Illuminated. <laughs> we were just looking up synonyms for the word light, basically. Yeah. And I think your mom was the one who brought Golden to our attention. Right? Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> Hannah, of course, called me and she was like, Jenny, how do you feel about the word golden? And I said, oh, I don't know. <laughs> so anyway, so I was kind of like uh, hesitant to it because I didn't know how well golden nectar fit together. But then after probably like 10 minutes, I was like, wait a second. I was like, that's literally perfect. We definitely just wanted it to represent something that's really important to us. And thus yeah. came golden. So. We have Mama. Golden Nectar. Thank you, Suze. So then, our mission statement was born. Through our name, we were able to form our mission statement because our name is metaphorical for what we want yeah. to bring to everybody, I guess. That's actually where the first line of our mission statement came from. Yes. The imagery of what Nectar is. The sugary fluid being passion. So that's something that's really, really delicate and unique to you and it's so special. In there we do also have how uh, the life work of bees is to find nourishment in the sweet nectar of a flower which is similar to you know our life goal of wanting to find our passion and our purpose in life. Without a bee, without nectar, there wouldn't be the rich honey in that quality life. Right, and without kind of knowing what you want your purpose to be in life, what your purpose is in life, it's going to be really 
I guess undeveloped. You're not gonna feel satisfied with where you're at and you're always gonna feel like there's something more that yeah. you're meant to do and i think everyone goes through that yeah and we're going through the process right now too is just trying to figure out exactly what we are meant to do with our lives you know i mean it's just a really hard thing and we want people to see that it can be accomplished if you listen to the signs and you kind of go with what your heart is telling you because that's the most important thing is if whatever you feel in your heart that drive that passion is going to lead you to where you should be yeah definitely and like i said before it's just something that we believe with our whole heart god has embedded in us and gifted us with and so it's just finding your true self through the creator and who he's made you to be. And so in diving deep and trying to think what you want to do with your life and what you're really passionate about, what makes you you, in finding that we believe that you find yourself. So thank you for watching. I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to uh, kind of understand exactly what we're doing and uh, stay in tune for our future videos. I believe our next video is going to be our About Us video and then we're going to start having some uh, interviews going on. That's right, that's right. Without further ado, Golden, Golden Nectar, Nectar is out. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Hey, us again. <laughs> yeah, we're back. So we did also want to incorporate um, some of the videos from our really, really, really early meetup sessions. And they're really funny to watch because- At least to us, they are. <laughs> I'm super awkward to watch myself just having seen what we, we just saw. It's gonna be interesting to yeah. we'll see it in a second. I pretty much cringe at everything. Mm -hmm. So I'm really glad that we have not made that into a video in itself. Yeah, yeah. But we thought it'd be fun if we incorporated some of it into this. So right there. <laughs> here lies the first couple weeks of us creating. Enjoy. Very, very excited about what is going to be happening in the future, in the near future. Uh. Hey, you got better at vlogging. Am I better at it right now? Yeah. I feel yeah. pretty good. Our first vlog in the parking lot. Oh. <laughs> here we are. Day one. This is my first time ever vlogging. I don't even know what to do. Like, it's, it just feels so unnatural for me. I know, and I'm not a pro vlogger at all, but I will say it's gotten a little more comfortable. She's better than I am, for sure. No. <laughs> and we have like really quality lighting, as you can see. We do, from Grace, their back lighting in the back of the, yeah, right there. It's phenomenal. <laughs> Use it for any vid that you ever yeah, need. Yeah, just come to the parking lot, you're good. So, here's to dreaming. Woo! <laughs> We've matured. <laughs>